Hey everybody, welcome back to the movies. Uh, in the last episode we put out a movie called Planet Probe. And it came out to be the number 8 movie, so uh, that's pretty cool. And we also filmed a, a horror movie called Murder in the Woods. Um, I actually took that movie in off camera. I did post production on it. Uh, but we still need to do PR on it, so we'll send it into PR a couple times, uh, and let that do its thing. Uh, we can also archive Scent, which was just a movie about, uh, with Rebecca Grant in it, where she claimed that she could put out any pile of garbage movie and the public would buy it because she's in it. And it, I guess that's what happened, because it made about $500,000, so... But she's going to just chill out here on the park bench while all her entourage just hangs out and does entourage type things. But she became a five-star star, and, and uh, that's really awesome. Uh, I'm happy for her. Um, let's see, uh, how are you, Julia? You're a little stressed, so I'm going to send you to the VIP bar. I think you're the only one that's got any stress on you. Uh, I wrote a movie off camera. It's called Public Speaking in Hollywood. It's an action movie. It's just one scene, uh, but it's got everybody in it. Uh, and I also off camera really quick built this set because I wanted to write the movie on, on this. Uh, this is the urban municipal building. It looks a lot like the clock tower in the Back to the Future movies. Uh, it's kind of cool. Um, so we have one, a one scene movie on here that we can film, but uh, I want to kind of release uh, Murder in the Woods first, and then we'll, we're, we'll work on, a, on this one. Action movies aren't really that popular right now, though. It, it looked like horror movies were really... Oh no, look at Eddie Wood. He can't even walk, stand up straight. He's so old. Come on, lap guy, you gotta stay out of his way. Oh, are you signing an autograph? Oh, you're right. This is the first person I've seen sign an autograph not named Matt Addison. Like, I've seen Matt Addison sign like three autographs, but that's, a, that's the first for Eddie Wood. God, he looks, he's so old. Poor guy. Well, let's send this back into PR one more time. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I mean, compared to like Matt Addison. Although Matt's getting up there in age too, but not as bad as Eddie Wood. Georgia is playing Mr. Hate, Pinball Machine. Cool sound effects and stuff. Julia's in the bar. Where's Randolph? Ooh, he just signed an autograph. Uh oh, Georgia just got her 10 year notice uh, that she's retiring. Luckily, Randolph and Julia are uh, youngsters, and Steve Spielberger here. Snazzy clothes. Is he going to his trailer? Yep. Well, enjoy that, Steve Spielberger. Yeah, so everything's going good on the Mars uh, attack lot here. Uh, I'm not force-feeding them to be friends anymore, because uh, we don't really have to. But I like the aesthetics when you come in. I definitely do. Got a little snack van there. Got the bar. Got the PR. Got lots of cool cars all around. Hey, this is Randy Shaw. He wants a chat, but with who? Uh, Georgia. Are you guys gonna figure out how to have a chat with each other? Eddie Wood uh, Jr. approaches with caution. He's like, he's like, <laughs> He's normal now, but when he walks, he's like all crazy looking, so... Oh well. Well, this movie's about done. This is, uh, Murder in the Woods, so... Alright, let's go ahead and release this on the middle marketing budget. This is eight scenes on the rural cabin exterior, I think it was. Matt Addison had a good performance there. 
Alright, good, good, uh, stats there. Whoa, that's a 4.4 star movie. I, I was not expecting much more than three and a half, really. That, so that's pretty good. 4.4. Let's watch this. Dog crap? It's pretty rude to point it out, don't you think? <laughs> Whatever, man. You know, you know, it's a Mars Attacks movie. Do you expect me to nail dialogue? No. No, you don't. And I did not, so... <sighs> I was trying to wing a one-liner. I couldn't think of one. Uh, I thought, thought of dog crap somehow. I don't know why, but... Whatever, that's Murder in the Woods. It came out number five. That's surprising, actually. But let's get Public Speaking in Hollywood casted. And let's get Georgia Lucas in here to work on this. Um, but this has pretty much everybody. We've got Georgia. We've got Randolph Price. we got Rebecca Grant. We've got Matt Addison. And we've got Eddie Wood Jr. over here. We've got Julia Spencer and four extras. Okay, and which one of these people is not like the others? Well, that would be the one with drunk bubbles coming out of her. And that's Julia. What do you know? But who else do we have here? We got Esther Williams. We've got Jack Turner. Katie Hooper. And Marcus Lynn. So... They've all got different costumes for this movie. They're, they're not all aliens like they were for Planet Probe. But hey, here co there goes... Uh, oh, he stopped. Oh, where'd you go? Ben Stone, I believe his name is. Yeah, he just did his first, first role there as an extra in Murder in the Woods. It's funny that I could stop him in his tracks like that. He's gawping now. Well, the movie's going to be shot over on this new set, so we'll go ahead and look at everybody come running. <laughs> look at Eddie Wood Jr. No, Eddie. No, Eddie. Stand up straight, man. He's got back problems. Poor guy. see. Who's going to be last? Well, there's Julia. Georgia just passed lap Julia. And the game is lagging a little bit because I think there's all these people right here. So, here's Randolph. He's all happy. Here comes Matt. And, well, I guess last is going to be Rebecca Grant. What do you... Go figure. Here she comes. Yeah. Hey, she's five stars. Who cares? She can be she can be last. So we have this statue over here. I don't know what it does. I think it de-stresses people. Let's put Steve Spielberger over here. Can he? No. Can't look at the statue. Okay. Well go look at the car. No, just lean up against the car, I guess. You'll have work to do soon, though. Hi, I'm Kate Sewell with Radio Tech. The Actually, why don't you come look at this statue? Cutting-edge technology. Action. Scientists today revealed their plans for a new invention called the computer, which could change the way we play, Has work, and store data. Inventors of the 
house size machine, claimed that it'll be able to store over 15 lines of text, but well, that within a hundred years, this girl that does these announcements, man, she talks for pages of text, or even an entire picture on a disc no bigger than a family car. Cool! Alright, well, our movie is being filmed as we speak in the background here. Uh, it's just one scene, like I said. It's got everybody in it. Uh, it's a wrap. All the extras are like paparazzi and press. And George is down here, but I see Matt and Eddie Wood, Randolph, Rebecca, Julia in, her, in a bikini for some reason. <laughs> Oh no, I didn't know that janitors were allowed to do this. Come on, game. Get me in here. Janitors are allowed up on a pedestal, I guess. I'm surprised we haven't seen Rebecca Grant up there yet. Well, nobody nobody cares that he's up on a pedestal. If you burn it up, then crank your radio to the max. Alright, well let's go ahead and PR this movie. Um Let's PR it a couple times. Public speaking in Hollywood. You got a lab rat there. What's her name? Sunny Burfitt. That's an interesting name. Alright, let's see what Eddie... Oh, everyone's just... Nobody wants to, like, leave. They're all happy here. Julia and Randolph are talking. Matt and Eddie Wood Jr. <laughs> <laughs> As he creeps away. <laughs> like like a turtle or something. Although he's faster than a turtle. He just looks funny. Where's Rebecca going? I see you down there. Going to trailer. George is like, I hate that bitch. George is going for a bite to eat. Hey, what's Matt doing? He's going to his trailer. What's Randolph up to? Waiting for shooting to begin, it says. Well, your movie already shot, Randolph, so... I don't know what to tell you there. Julia. She's all happy. Just wandering around. Steve Spielberger's in his trailer. Looks like Julia's going to her trailer. <laughs> it's so funny. It's sad, but it's funny. This guy. Although he looks like he's walking a little more upright now. Georgia doesn't want to talk to him. Like he has cooties or something. Says he's going for a bite to eat. So. Okay, well let's go ahead and PR this movie a little bit more. And we can archive a movie. Let's archive Planet Probe. It ended up making us 1.1 million dollars. That's not too shabby. There's a, what's his name again? Stone? Ben Stone. Okay, Rebecca's going to her trailer. I, I love when these doors open up here. Yeah, just slide open automatically. That's pretty cool. She's got a cool trailer. I mean, it's got a little deck on it and stuff. You know, it's pretty private over there, too. Matt enjoying some fountain time. Randa peering into the casting office. George is in her trailer. Julia's playing at the lion head tr uh, fountain. Why don't we have Julia play basketball? Yeah, why don't you play basketball? See how good you are. Alright, Julia, make us proud. 
play some horse with yourself. That looked like it went in. That looked like it went in. That's gotta be hard to play ball and heels. She's like, I've had enough of this garbage. She doesn't know what to do with herself now. Looks like she was about to litter. Uh, Matt Ad Addison has a little bit of a food addiction, which is uh, interesting. I'm surprised Eddie Wood Jr. didn't have to go to rehab. Because that guy, especially early on, was a, had a drinking problem. And I was sure it was just going to spiral out of control. But uh, it, to his credit, he, he, he didn't let it. And uh, all's good. So, All right, well, let's release public speaking in Hollywood. This is, like I said, one scene action movie. It's got everybody in it, so the star, star power should be pretty good on it. But it was a one-star script, and it came out to be a 3.2-star movie. That's pretty good. All right, let's see how this goes. Hey everybody, you know you're all here because Eddie Wood Jr. is retiring and you want to hear him speak. But he's really old and kind of stupid now, so I'm going to speak because I'm the number one star. So feel free to take pictures of me. Julia, why are you wearing a bikini? You, you whore. This is all about me. This is, and me and Eddie Wood anyways. Anyways, we all know Eddie Wood's going to retire. He's probably going to die soon because he's so old. But hey, don't forget that I'm still at the Mars Attack Studio. I'm the number one star. I was a five-star star. Rebecca Grant. <laughs> so, so vain. That's public speaking in Hollywood, and I guess that equals vanity. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Rebecca Grant just went off on a little tantrum there made fun of Eddie Wood Jr. numerous times at his retirement speech and insulted Julius Spencer, called her a whore for wearing a bikini. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to my studio. I have no, I don't know. I mean, well, there's Rebecca. She's nice and happy after that little performance. Eddie Wood, he, do he doesn't even know what just happened. He doesn't even know that was about him. Matt, where are you? He's in his trailer. Georgia, wandering about, going for a bite to eat. Julia in her trailer. Randolph, all right, Randolph giving an autograph. What are you guys gawping at? Oh, because Rebecca's here? Really? They're gonna gawp at Rebecca? That's weird. I didn't realize that the number 11 star would goff at, at Rebecca Grant, the number 1 star. Well, look at her. She's, she's talking to Steven. At least she's not above talking to Steve Spielberger. Alright, that's pretty good. Well, we're going to go to the award ceremony in about 8 months here. Uh, Public Speaking in Hollywood came out number 81, so that's pretty cool. Rebecca Grant is happy as, as she can be, so... Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here, and we'll, we'll I'll see you all in the next episode. So long, everyone.